Hi, my name is Imo Hope and I'm applying for the one year course. So why do I wish to train at Oxford? So I've spent the past six months at Oxford on the foundation course and the atmosphere and environment was just fizzy and electric and engaging and alive and I truly feel that the growth that Oxford has sparked in me has just been immense and I feel that with everything that the foundation course gave me and the previous this training I have that I have the mindset drive and sheer determination and passion to gain everything possible from the one year course. I love that Oxford really promotes individuality and playfulness and experimentation and being open and present and being a strong ensemble member and truly having, you know, the story at the core of everything you do and being truthful in every single character. And why do we tell stories? I think that stories serve as kind of a metaphor for life and a bridge between us all. We're able to learn of these people that came before us who have really left their stamp on the world and we gauge their personality and their spirits and their message that they wanted us to continue. I think that we can find where we've come from, what other people have come from, what other walks of life have looked like, what our walk of life has looked like, which helps us to become better, more well-rounded, empathetic open humans. I think that in a film, TV, stage kind of setting, sometimes we tell stories that are thought-provoking, sometimes uncomfortable, but very necessary, um, that maybe we need to shed light and raise awareness about certain topics or represent underrepresented areas, um, which kind of do provoke war emotions and hopefully societal change. Sometimes we tell stories sheerly for joy and escapism, and sometimes I think that stories are told to show us that there's just so much in this wide world and that we have these amazing figures, you know, these strong men and strong women and strong people to look up to and to kind of incentivize us and show us that, you know, the world kind of really is for the taking, especially for young people. I think that's so important to have these amazing figures to feel inspired by and to, you know, have this aspiration. And ultimately, I think that stories truly are just a genuine form of connection and something very central to our being. I am going to be performing Goneril's monologue from King Lear, Act 1, Scene 3 by William Shakespeare and Sophie's monologue from Strawberries in January by Evelyn de la Chenelier. By day and night he wrongs me. Every hour he flashes into one gross crime or other that sets us all at odds. I'll not endure it. His nights grow riotous, and him celebrates us on every trifle. When he returns from hunting, I will not speak with him. Say I am sick. If you come slack of former services, you shall do well. The false of it I'll answer. Put on what really negligence you please you and your fellows. I'd have it come to question. If he just taste it, let him to our sister, whose mind and mine I know, and that are one. Not to be overruled. Idle old man that still would manage those authorities that he hath given away. Now by my life. Old fools are babes again, and must be used with checks and flatteries when they are seen abused. Remember what I have said. I know this isn't the way you're supposed to do it and that is a bit of a worry but I said to myself life is short and if everyone always waits for everyone else to make the first move you can waste an awful lot of time and I know you sometimes watch me sleeping I know because I'm not actually sleeping and you can't deny it yesterday for instance you were watching me sleeping and I know that when we're drinking wine and talking in the sitting room together until two in the morning, it's just agony for both of us to go to our separate beds and even if every couple tears each other apart and we both made fun of all these couples that tear each other apart, I think we owe it to ourselves to try and grab something that might tear us apart and I don't really see why if we like doing the shopping together, eating breakfast together, doing the elsewhere together, watching old films together. I don't really see why we wouldn't like making love together because that's something a lot more exciting, it seems to me, than shopping, housework and old films. So I'm asking you to marry me in the spring. I know conventionally I'm not supposed to be the one who asks, but you prefer the unconventional, so 
I'm asking you to marry me in the spring. Or outside, next winter, because it's conventional to get married in the spring. You're not saying anything. That was the moment when you would have kissed me. Or something. So I don't really know what to say now. <laughs>